All right. I, uh, I just got married recently, and uh, right, after, <laughs> right after we got married, my wife showed me this article on her phone. She said, hey, check this out. According to this article, statistically, now that we're married, you just became the most likely person to murder me. <laughs> and I had to be like, babe, it's been me the whole time, you know? Like, that's... That's love. That's how love... <laughs> it's good to be telling jokes back in a normal-sized city. Uh, last night I was in a town in rural Wyoming, a town of 300 people telling jokes. To give you an idea of how small of a town that is, I found out that the person who booked me on the show was the mayor of the town, <laughs> and she was also the bartender at the venue, okay? It's <laughs> a so small... But the comic before this, the comic before me was trying to do jokes about online dating. I'm like, what are you doing? Nobody's online dating in a town of 300. <laughs> what would that even? They'd be like, oh yeah, I got a match. Ah, it's Karen. <laughs> you know, there's <laughs> Karen. I told you to quit. So she's just right there. She's just in the. <laughs> That's a town so small, if a cop's like, where'd you get these drugs? You're like, I bought them from you two days ago. You know, what are you? <laughs> they were smoking cigarettes inside in this venue. And I'm like, I'm on stage. I'm like, I didn't know you could legally do that anywhere in this country. This guy's sitting right up front, just blows smoke right in my face. He was like, who are you going to tell? <laughs> Nobody. I want to get out of Wyoming alive. You know, I guess. <laughs> uh, me and my wife, we had kids before we got married. R round of applause if you have kids. Round of applause if you have kids. Sure. Round of applause if you don't have kids. Round of applause if you don't have okay. kids. Good, so it's about half and half, which is nice. That's, there's, a, there's an energy level difference that you gotta kinda, sort of a happiness handicap type. Here's some advice for those of you who don't have kids. Don't talk to your friends that have kids about your day. That's it. <laughs> That's, it's rude. It's a rude thing to do. You might not realize it because you don't, you know, you've never had that. I'm 33 years old. Most of my friends my age don't have kids, so they're always like, oh, bro, I had the most brutal day today. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, like, oh, okay. Listen to this. Work was super busy. I only got four breaks all day. Then I get home. People are posting Game of Thrones spoilers on Facebook. And I'm like, I got human poop in and around my face and eyes before breakfast today. <laughs> Work was super busy. Yeah, but then did you go home to peace and quiet and personal space? How was that? How was that for you? You get to watch porn with volume on? Are you kidding? <laughs> you don't know what you got till it's gone, single people. That's all, you know. <laughs> people without kids, you wake up on the weekend. Mmm. Sunlight's coming in. Catch yourself in the mirror and it's like, hey there. Most important person in my life. <laughs> you know, you're just, what do you want to do today? Nothing? Yeah. Let's just do nothing. Guys, as a parent, if I wake up and I do nothing long enough, I go to jail. Do you understand? <laughs> My, my son dropped the first ever F-bomb of his life. Great moment, very proud. Great, you know, middle of a crowded target for no reason. Seven years old, I pulled him in real close, got all stern, got all dadly, you know, got right in his face. I was like, son, where did you hear that word? <laughs> he got all scared. He's like, my friend Tristan sat at. I was like, I don't ever, ever again want to hear you narc out one of your friends like that. <laughs> Yeah. 
Snitches get stitches. We know, we know the rules, you know? Especially don't want to be tattling on a kid named Tristan who's dropping F-bombs in the first grade. That kid's probably a badass. He's gonna get caught smoking in middle school, you know? And the, t the teacher's gonna be like, are you smoking cigarettes? He's just gonna be like, who are you gonna tell? You know, just that guy. You guys are right. I've been Daniel Rodriguez. Thanks so much.